okay so this is the first floor tiling the drawing that I have imported is the first floor xref I'm going to put in a few tiles here in some layer let's see what layer I can find maybe I will put it on uh, on maybe the hatch layer if I want it okay now I'll put in some tiles in my storage I'll put in some tiles in my dining room and I will put in some tiles in my den okay I'm going to hatch it with the hatch command uh, the tiles that I would take is maybe that one hit OK scale I'm going to give it as 10 big points pick in there there and there okay I think that's a little bit too much I'm gonna change the scale to maybe 100 okay now I will save this file so the only thing live in, in this drawing is the tiles these are x -reps. I could turn some layer off I'll turn in that off the doors off you know so, uh, obviously I have to keep the walls I'll turn that off okay save the file now I'll open I think the last one let's see I have done the mechanical I'll just open the electrical okay again this is the live drawing we are just using as a template right so I'm going to delete this and and I am going to xref my floor plan from insert attach and where's the original drawing first floor plan so this is our original drawing which we are importing in first floor mechanical first floor plumbing first floor interiors so this is the main drawing if we need to go modify we modify this and all the other first floor gets updated accordingly hit ok 0 comma 0 comma 0 ok now layoff I can turn off some layers ok I turned off some layers there now I'm going to put in some uh, electrical stuff I can go to my layers look for the electrical I'm pretty sure that it was somewhere electrical right there make it current and close this now I will have some some small lights okay I'm just going to copy these now obviously electrical plan is done a different way I'm just showing an example so we learn how to use x -refs. so we have a light pretty much everywhere okay and they will be joined with wires some more wires that goes to the switch obviously this goes to the switch somewhere goes to the switch okay, so you understand what I'm trying to do here right okay now only thing live in here is our electrical layer and this drawing is an xref so I'm going to save it and close it okay now I'm going to open my first floor plan because now I have already finished with my package finished with my first floor electrical mechanical plumbing first floor plan ceiling and second floor electrical mechanical plumbing ceiling everything I go all the way till the 10th floor so I have a set of 100 sheets of paper and I submitted to the city for getting an approval and the plan checker tells me like before hey your carport is not the right size or he tells me uh, the the den is too small or the storage is too small and I have to make the changes so now if I'm changing like my structurals of any walls or anything then it will change from the first floor till the tenth floor okay so main thing is if I update my first floor drawing which you see over here then all the other first floor references should get updated in one go 
okay so at least I save that much amount of time to go and change the first floor electrical first floor mechanical first floor plumbing first floor uh, ceiling first floor tiling all I have to do is just change the original first floor and all those 10 drawings get updated same thing I would have to do for the original second floor and all the second floor extras would auto automatically get updated same thing with the third floor and fourth floor and tenth floor but again you see how much time we've saved we've saved at least like uh, uh, a, a big amount of time because we are not updating ten sheets on the first floor we just update one sheet on the first floor one sheet on the second floor which really doesn't take much time so let's try doing this right now so I am going to make my carport bigger okay and then I am going to make my storage bigger okay and then all I have to do is save my first floor drawing see I save my first floor drawing and I close it now remember this was the same X ref which we use for first floor electrical, first floor mechanical, first floor plumbing. Only thing this is the original drawing. You see that? It's a live original drawing. So I'll close it. Now, all I have to do is go and open the file and see if my drawing got updated. See, if you look into the view right now, it doesn't look like it's updated. But let's open the first floor electrical. Hey, you see that? It got updated. Let's open the first floor tiling. That got updated too. Now let's open the other ones. First floor uh, mechanical. So everything already got updated with just updating the first floor original drawing. All the X refs associated with the first floor got updated in like one second. So I didn't have to go to my mechanical drawing and make this wall bigger or move the wall or you know make the room bigger I didn't have to do the same thing in electrical mechanical plumbing or tiling so I have saved a tremendous amount of time by doing this now if I go back to my first floor plan and then I am going to I'm going to put it back again to where it was before so if I do that right I do that see what happens uh, I am going to minimize my drawing see, I go on my first floor mechanical see what it says over here external reference file has changed all I have to do is click that to reload there you go so it went back to where it was before because I updated it again every time I update and save it all my references would change and I will have to uh, reload it I go save yes now see this drawing first floor plan has changed reload so now the reloading is done close it yes same thing first floor plan has changed reload close it yes so I hope you understood how the X refs work again we have one original drawing which is the first floor or the second floor or the third floor and all the X refs are based on your original and you change or update your original all the X refs all the external reference files get updated accordingly okay now I told you we can use the XREF even as an overlay like for example I have finished working with my first floor and uh, I get on to my second floor so I'm just going to open my second floor plan here hit open now this is my second floor sometime I need to make changes to my second floor with respect to the first floor I want to see where the first floor falls onto my drawing so I can go click insert I can go attach and I will attach the first floor plan hit open 
hit OK, and the insertion point is 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. Okay? So now you see how the second floor is in reference to the first floor. I can always right click and send it to back so I can see the, the second floor. You see? So the live drawing over here is this one, which is the second floor, and this one is the external reference. Live drawing, I can go and modify and change anything I want. External reference, I have to go change the original. So there are a couple ways of modifying the external reference. Like for example, I could go click on the external reference file and this is what pops out. So I could edit the reference file right here or if I click that, it would open the first floor plan and I could update it there. I could even clip my uh, my xref okay you see that so only this much shows up if I want it but you know it's up to you where and why to use it but I could click on this open the reference see it opens the first floor drawing all the way up here I could modify something over here stretch it erase it move it do anything and uh, once the modification is done I have to remember to save it and if I save it then it gets updated in here again see this is an xref and this is not an xref okay so the other way of modifying this I added in place so I could click on that it opens this box this box is really similar to the one that we use for the block command okay so and over here I can go and modify all these things I just hit OK to what is selected and see when I hit OK see what happened it updated to the second floor plan and I can make my drawing changes over here why because the drawing is live now it's not uh, it's not an xref anymore so I could change this and hit save changes and once the changes are done I hit OK and it goes back to what it was okay obviously if I made some changes that would reflect over here as well okay so I hope you followed how you could use an xref as an overlay for reference or you you use it for updating all your drawings together in one go by just updating the original okay so if I had a third floor plan I could extract a first floor second floor and a third floor let's try that so I'm going to make a new drawing okay I'm, I'm using the same template which is I arch for all my drawings open hit continue and I have my model in the model I will draw whatever right this is my floor plan and I save this I save this as what third floor plan okay if you look up here it's third floor plan now I want to make sure my third floor plan lines up with my first floor and the second floor so what I'm going to do here is xref two drawings so I do xref or xr or you could go and insert and click that e. anyways I go attach a drawing and I go attach the first floor plan hit open hit ok and attaching is 0 comma 0 comma 0 so it goes right there okay so my third floor should be on top of this then I have the second floor it says unloaded over here I can just right click and just do reload okay it said not found so I will right click I can I can just delete that and attach a second floor plan hit open hit OK and the location is 0, 0, 0, okay so I have it shown over here as loaded so I have a first floor I have a first floor uh, a second floor and a third floor 
okay so in this I could modify accordingly 